Hello everybody, welcome to Code with Lukman once again. Today I will teach you how we can change the default behavior of Laravel Breeze. Uh, being a Laravel developer, basically every Laravel developer uses Laravel Breeze or Laravel Jetstream to implement the basic authentication features. Uh, the problem is uh, in the real world apps um, there are different types of users and uh, so we need to make changes to the laravel breeze or laravel jet stream so that user is uh, redirected based on his role for example in an e-commerce project uh, there would be at least two types of user one would be a user who would be coming to the web application to shop online and place an order but the owner will be the admin okay who will be able to manage the contents of his website using the admin panel so based on the user type we need to uh, redirect the user based on his role okay so for this to achieve this functionality we need to make changes to laravel breeze uh, package uh, first of all, I would recommend you that uh, if you think that you would need customization in the authentication feature, then you should use Laravel Breeze instead of uh, uh, Laravel Jetstream. It's quite uh, difficult and complex to modify the functionality of Laravel Jetstream. Okay, uh, so guys, first of all, to follow me along, uh, please uh, create a new Laravel application and then also install uh, Laravel starter kit which is uh, uh, Laravel Breeze. So install Laravel Breeze once you have created a new Laravel application and install Laravel Breeze uh, then you can follow me along okay. So to differentiate between the different type you, of users uh, let me create a new column in the user table okay this is the first change i am making into my laravel project after creating a new laravel application and uh, then i also installed a laravel breeze and uh, and then of course i ran the npm install and npm uh, run commands to compile the assets and similarly i also ran the uh, migration command okay so this is the first change i am making into the file create a new column it would be a boolean type and uh, column name will be is underscore admin okay so it can have only two values zeros and one okay and then come to authenticate it uh, when you will install laravel breeze it will create many uh, controllers for you for authentic uh, for authentications so you need to go to the authenticated session controller file and make a change here uh, so after uh, making this change okay uh, i need to rerun the migration command so let me run it uh, i am using laravel sales so i also need to if you are not using sale then you will of course use php artisan migrate but i am using sale so i will run sale artisan migrate refresh dash dash seed i am rerunning the migration command so that the column which i have added will be inserted into the user table okay migrations have executed successfully now go to the authenticated session controller and here go to the store function okay the first is a create function where we are returning the view you can also change this if you want to uh, return any other view and uh, then but uh, right now we need to change the behavior of store function so go to the store function and uh, then you need to add this line a 
is underscore admin so if the user is admin then we will redire redirect it to the dashboard okay else we will to the root of the application so we have just added a simple app, uh, if condition okay it will check if the value of is admin uh, is one it will redirect the user to the dashboard okay and uh, if this condition is uh, false definitely it will not execute and uh, the user will be redirected to the root of the application okay and similarly uh, uh, now we need to go to the registered user controller so after registration okay and uh, here we also need to add the same logic okay this is controller is responsible for handling the registration of the so here we will also add this condition so after the registration and uh, yes of course we will also need this right okay so this is our application let's try to register a new user okay So once I register, it it must redirect me to the uh, root of the application. By default, you know Laravel redirects you to the uh, forward slash dashboard. Ah, uh, okay. So let's make another change uh, into the migration. So let's assign a default value to the is underscore admin panel which should be zero okay and now let's refresh it uh, yeah we also need to rerun the migrations okay so let's rerun the migrations because we made a change to the column and now let's refresh this page yeah so you can see that user has been registered and uh, we have been redirected to the uh, root of of the application the first page okay not to the dashboard by default you know laravel bereze redirects the user to the dashboard uh, so now if I can still visit the dashboard okay yeah by default Laravel redirects you to the dashboard but uh, after making the changes it redirected me to the uh, localhost and I will also show you uh, later that we also need to protect the normal user from being accessing the dashboard we don't want the normal user that he uh, types the dashboard in the um, URL and uh, he gets access to it okay anyway and uh, now let's do one thing more uh, so let's so here we can see the user which we just reached here you can see is underscore admin is zero okay now let's 
let's do one thing more apply this query and uh, up so that is underscore admin value is set to the one okay so now if i review now you can see is underscore admin value has been changed to one okay now first of all i would log out and then we'll try to log in again and it will redirect me now to the uh, dashboard page because now i am am admin why should it redirect me to the user because we put a condition here in the authenticated session controller if the uh, user is admin then redirect us to the dashboard okay and here root service brother home redirects us to the dashboard right and you can see that we have updated the value and right now the user is admin so let's try to log in it yeah it redirected us to the dashboard because of just these two small lines okay now then uh, one more thing is uh, if the user is not admin then he should not be able to uh, access the uh, dashboard so just we will just do one thing more let's create a new middleware make and call it is admin right uh, yeah i also need to use the same uh, because i am using laravel sales so i need to add the c in the start you can use the php artisan i need to replace it with yeah okay a new middleware already exists okay so now if you go to the middleware directory here you can see here is a new middleware okay here we also need to add the condition okay let's copy it from here okay and here so so here we will say if the user is not admin okay not we added the not sign okay redirect it to redirect it to the root of the application so this if we will apply this middleware to any route or route groups then it will check if the user is not admin it will re redirect it to the root application okay otherwise the user will be able to access the dashboard because then the request will go to the return dollar next dollar request okay and uh, now we need to okay 
we need to add alias for it okay so go to app uh, kernel.php okay app http uh, kernel.php and here you can add alias to your uh, middleware aliases okay as you can see that there are already many aliases and uh, let's add a new alias here okay we will call it is uh, is admin okay or we will just say it admin and then here we will say it is admin right so now we need to go to the routes go to the web.php okay and now you know i am not make any changes to the web.php this is the first change these are the already uh, uh, these routes uh, routes are already defined by the laravel when i created the new laravel application okay so here i will to the dashboard i will add here the admin middleware right so now a normal user will not be able to access the dashboard so let's go here okay and now uh, because right now the user is admin let's uh, update the users to zero so it will not be considered the admin okay when i will execute this query okay okay now the logged in user is not admin okay let's login yeah it has redirected us to the root because the user is not admin and now if i try to access the dashboard okay if i type here the dashboard it will not allow me to access the dashboard because we have protected the dashboard via uh, middleware you see it redirected me to the user this is uh, how we can make changes to the laravel breeze and then we can redirect the user based on uh, his role